So this is the top, the V-neck of the heart of a poncho pillowcase. Actually, it's poncho power pillowcase. So this is what you do. You, um, you sew all of one side of the opening to the corner. This is the corner right here of the pillowcase the corner and it's all sewn on this side and it's all sewn on this side all the way up but on this side it's open this is the opening of the pillowcase and what you do is you sew one side of the opening all the way up to the very end of the opening and it will get about a third a little bit more of, uh, than a third of the pillowcase and then you come back and you are at the corner and you sew halfway up of the opening so that both sides of this opening are sewn, leaving this open. And this is why this is a fully lined poncho because this is the opening of a pillowcase right here. So that means the whole pocket can go everything, your keys, your phone, and your wallet, or maybe a tin with all of your ca your cash or your change or your cards. Some people use tins so that uh, the numbers can't be stolen by contraptions. So you put all of that in here. Now, if you're right-handed, okay, this would be on the left. If you're left-handed, when you're looking at it from the other side, from an observer's side, then it would be, the opening would be on the right. It would be on this side over here. And I've got a pocket just like this in the back. That's why I would like to wear this inside out so people don't know that I have an opening and I have two uh, poncho power pillowcases sewn together to make two pockets that are huge. I mean, if I go if I go on a vacation and I buy too many t-shirts, I can put all of those new t-shirts inside my poncho and I wouldn't have to do anything as far as um, putting in an over um, an overhead, you know, uh, compartment. I wouldn't have to put it under my chair. It would just be a really easy thing. I could just have it on me and um, use it as a pillow if I need to take it off because I'm hot. But I, I just, I came up with this because of the pocket project. It gave me the idea. And some people say, oh, you're a designer. Well, I've been sewing since I was 11. But the point is, is I have a lot of engineers in my family. And I think that this is more of an engineering issue than it is a... Um, design issue. I don't think that it's for design because it's not a poncho like anybody else's. I have four ponchos from Talbot's, which is a great company. It's very conservative. And none of the ponchos are lined. Two of them are partially wool and one is all acrylic. And they were $200 each and they're not even lined. And the pockets aren't deep. They're all right. They're at least four inches, but they're not deep. I couldn't put my po uh, my purse, my keys, and my phone in them. And I don't have a large phone. I have like a four inch phone or five inch. It's not one of those large iPhones. All right, so anyway, poncho, power, pillowcases. How many pillowcases do you have in your closet that you could make a poncho out of. Use when you travel. Give it to someone who has a port for cancer um, or is getting dialysis and has to have a lot of IVs. You know, this, this, this is great for somebody who's going into the hospital because most hospital sheets don't come up to the shoulders. So having something like this can be really helpful. And if you make them, give them away. Please don't sell them. 
Not unless you really need the money and there are a lot of people who would buy them. It's a tough sale because people don't want something that is unusual. My dad wore one and the reason he wore it is because he got cold at night but also he wore it because it was plaid. I didn't make something pink or with flowers for him. All right, have a wonderful day and have fun.